guys. I got something today that I wasn't planning to get for a little while, but here it is. It is a Stitch Fix. Um, this may be the last time I'm recording on my iPad. It's been dying a slow death for a while now. Um, I have a camera. I just have to figure out how to use it. Y'all just fit, missed Mary. She was here for a few minutes and left, but she gave me um, something to open the box with before she went. Let's see what's in here. If you are curious about Stitch Fix, I will have a description about it both at the end of the video and in the description box below. Click down there to see it. There will also be a referral link, and if you want to sign up for Stitch Fix and use that link, you will get $25 credit toward your first box, and I will get $25 credit as the referrer. So if you're considering it anyway, I always appreciate it if someone uses the link. Uh, in this fix, I asked for um, flat front shorts. I wanted something I could wear with that uh, top I just got in my last fashion box. And um, some tops. Christine is my normal stylist, and when I checked the preview for this box, which once they ship, you can use the app on the phone and see what was sent, I kind of wondered if she was actually the one that put this together, if it was someone new, because it's a little different. So let's see what's in here. First, you get the envelope with your invoice, which I'll look at later, and with your note from your stylist and your style cards, and let's see if it's Christine. No, it's not, okay? The reason I said I thought it might be someone else is that um, I noticed there were two V-neck tops in it. And I have on my style profile with Stitch Fix, no V-necks. I have that written down. And Christine knew that. Here is my bundle of clothes. And here is the little box with the jewelry. I did say I'd like an outfit in there, just something I can put together as an outfit. And I wouldn't mind trying some jewelry because I'm not a jewelry wearer. I don't know how to wear it with what top. I said something that would go with the outfit you sent. So, um, we'll see. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's certainly wrapped well enough. This is the necklace. I will have item names and prices also in the description box below. And when I wrap up at the end, if I remember, I'll say the name and price of the item. Um, that is so not me. That is really not me. It's like got, what the heck does this have? Okay, Let's see if you can look close. It's got some little beads on it. It's silver. It's got kind of a big thing there and then this 2001 A Space Odyssey monolith on the bottom. I mean, I'll give it a go. And let's see what's in my burrito. Right. Okay, well, the skirt I thought was black, but I think I, so hard, sometimes it's really hard to tell black or navy, especially in the light I'm in. But speaking of, I should take my glasses off so the window doesn't reflect in it. It's really dark out today. I hope you're able to see this because I have the light coming in from the window. Um, I do like longer skirts, and this looks like a maxi. It is sort of a pinkish red flower on a navy background. It's got a tie in the front. And then the hemline, it looks like it's, I don't know if you can see, uh, it goes up. I think that's the front and down in the back. So it's a little bit of a high-low. It feels like a t-shirt material. Oh, these are the shorts. Now on the preview, these look gray, but these I think are black and white. I'm not sure about this. Are these Margaret M? Yeah, they're Margaret M. I like Margaret M trousers and I like Margaret M maxi skirts. I'll try the shorts. And I'll see if they go with that other top I got. I'm not sure they will because I think the patterns will conflict. This could be a dark navy, but I'm pretty sure that's black and white. Um, I kind of like the contrast on this. It's interesting. Now this is the one, this is a Calvin Klein. I love Calvin Klein tops, but this is a V-neck. It's even marked on the card, Calvin Klein V-neck. Okay, you know, that's not going to work. Anyone who knows me and knows my fixes knows I don't do V-necks because I don't want any cleavage to show, and y'all have heard it before. I'll give it a try, but I'm gonna to have to put a cameo under it, and I can, it's also not, Dove Gray is not, eh, I'll see. It's not a color I would pick, but let me put it all together, because sometimes when you try something on, you end up feeling differently about it. This is cute, yellow's a color I like. I don't know if you can see what shade of yellow that is. It's, um, it's a very thin material, oh no. I just saw the front. 
It's another open neck. It's got a tie. We'll see if I can tie it closed, but ties are also not my thing. I always send them back. I wonder if they were like overwhelmed with fixes and they just sort of rushed it because this doesn't match my style profile at all. I do like Stitch Fix an awful lot, but I think this box is going to be a miss. So let's try it on and we'll see. Um, also, when you see the try on, I should probably explain this. Yes, my foot is in a medical boot. I broke my foot. So the try on will look. Um, don't judge me by my footwear, okay? So I will probably a little bit later tonight turn on the overhead lights and do the try on then. So far, I, I think this is going to be a miss, but we will see. See with what she was going for with this pendant and top, it actually, I think, looks pretty good together. Um, I don't think it's me. Let me, um, now I have to stand up, which is hard in this boot. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, first of all, take a look. This cami is a little low on me. So this V, I don't know if you can tell in the picture, it actually goes way down on me. Um, this V is way too low. Here's the skirt. The skirt is a high-low. Um, here's the stylish boot. It's very soft. What do you think? The top is a no-go. It also has Nancy Rounds. I always call these bat wings where the sleeves don't fit quite right because this is not a petite cut. It's a regular medium, so that would have to be tailored. All in all, I think this top is for a taller person than me. This is the Calvin Klein, Klein Kalia V-neck blouse in light gray, size medium, and it's $58, which is a normal Calvin Klein price. The skirt is the Lovapella Madison Faux Wrap Knit Midi Skirt at $48 in a large petite, and that fit is pretty good. I'm not sure I have a, the right kind of top to go with it. These are Margaret M. Shorts. They are a little, for me, they're short. I don't think they're, I don't know. They're not my cup of tea. Um, surprise, they're actually big on me. Let me see what size they are. Okay, the Margaret M. Lee printed short. These are $68, and they are in a size large, and I don't, that normally would be okay with me, but they're really big. I think these shorts are probably a no-go as well. And I wanted you to see how long the Calvin Klein top is. Um, it's just not the right size for me. I'm, I'm really disappointed. Uh, the necklace, though. The necklace actually, with the top, if this was your kind of top, it blends in really well, even though it's a big, giant monolith. Um, that's not bad. I see what she was going for. Shorts are still on. Here's this little top. This is actually a cute little top. Let me take this necklace off. Okay, necklace is off. This is untied. Um, it's kind of a cute little top. Let me know what you think. I think I already know what I'm going to do, but I always value your feedback. So stay tuned for a wrap up and um, comment below on what you think. Okay, so quick wrap up. Um, if you want to learn more about Stitch Fix, if you're new to Stitch Fix, just stay tuned to the end of the video and I will give a recap on how Stitch Fix works or look in the description box. Let's talk about this box. The first item, these are the um, Margaret M. Shorts. The waist is completely elastic. There is no zip in it. Um, I like the pattern on it an awful lot. I just thought that that looked really cool, that kind of abstract print, but they didn't fit me. They were too big for me. These are a size large, and I thought they were too short, but I think it's just they were too wide in the leg, so it looked a little funny. So that's getting returned. These are $68, which for Margaret M is a normal price. The next item is the Lovapella Madison Faux Wrap Knit Dress. It is actually, I didn't realize when I unboxed, there's the Faux Wrap. It is stitched at the top, so you're not going to have a wardrobe malfunction. 
It's a very soft t-shirt material. It's a nice skirt, but not on me. I thought it looked awful. So this is getting returned and this sells for $48. It is a nice item though, if you want to try it for yourself. Now let's talk about the gray shirt. I checked my style profile. It does indeed say no V-necks. So I was really disappointed that they sent a V-neck. Um, this is the Calvin Klein Kalia V-neck blouse. That's what it says. Um, in a size medium and it's too big on me. Um, I think in a petite cut, it would have fit better, but I still wouldn't have gotten it because I just don't do V-necks. This is $58 normal Calvin Klein price. Also with this, I had asked for a piece of jewelry that would go with one of the tops since I don't know how to put jewelry and tops together. And she sent me, this is the Nakamole, Whack-a-mole. The Nakamole Kendra Stone Pendant Necklace. It is $48, which seems pricey to me, but maybe it's not for this kind of a necklace. It seems well made. And do you notice that little stone there is, the stone on the top up here is gray. And it goes really nicely with this top. By itself, it looked like too much to me, but with the top, it looked really nice. So um, these do go really nicely together. I just have to rule out the top because I don't do V-necks. And lastly, this I liked. Um, I said when I was unboxing or when I was trying on, I forget, I don't like ties, which is kind of funny because I'm wearing a Stitch Fist top that has ties on it. But this is a hoodie style, so I'm okay with the ties on a hoodie style, not on a regular shirt. But when I untied this in the try on and looked at it, I liked how it looked on. It's a very light rayon spandex with the contrast is polyester and that very subtle difference in the material and the color, I think looks great. And if this was not $58, I would keep it. I think that price is just too high for this kind of top. So if I had had a credit on my account or if I had a um, buy five discount of 25% off, I think $15 less and I would have kept this. Um, it seems like a really nice casual summer top that has a little bit of extra something to it so it's not sloppy looking. I might regret returning this, but I'm returning it, which means that this whole fix is going back and I haven't done that in a long time. I think I've only done it once, sent everything back. But you only keep what you love and as much as I do really like that yellow blouse, I don't like it $58 worth. Uh, as I said, I was a little bit disappointed, but when I look at it, they're not bad items. They're nice items. The necklace did go with the gray top. It's just not a me box. Okay, I did say at the beginning of this video that at the end, I would give a brief description of Stitch Fix. So if you already know, you can click off now. Um, and if you don't, Stitch Fix is a styling service in the form of a subscription box. You fill out a detailed style profile with your sizes, likes, and dislikes, and a stylist will curate a box of five items, mostly clothes, some accessories, shoes, handbags, if you desire, can be included in there. They're sent to your home to try on. You have three days to try them on. You can extend that time if you need to. Uh, you keep what you like. You send back what you don't. You pay for what you keep. There is a $20 styling fee, which is charged when your box is shipped, but it is credited toward anything you keep. If you keep nothing, then you have paid the styling fee. And um, I have had it for about two and a half years and I do enjoy it. So if you want to give it a try and you use the referral link below, you will get $25 credit on your own first fix. And that is the promo at the time this video is being recorded. So you can try it for no risk and see if it suits you or if it doesn't suit you. More information is written in the description box and I'll have a link to my Stitch Fix 101 video if you want to hear a long-winded version of what I just said. All right, bye-bye.